This video reviews reading histograms. And this information on this graph tells us the times some students took to revise for a test. So for example, the first bar here are those who spent between 0 and 10 minutes revising. However, here's the key information about a histogram. The height of the graph is not the frequency. It's called the frequency density. And in a histogram, the key fact is that the area of the bars equals the frequency. And we're asked to find or estimate the number of people who revise for less than 45 minutes. So, I've got to find the area of this graph up to 45 minutes by doing 1, 2, 3, and here's 45, a quick little sketch up, D, four different area calculations. Now area is quite a basic work really, quite a low skill, but we're applying it within a harder context. So, if I look at area A, it's got a width of 10 and a height of 0.8. So, if I do 10, lots of 0.8, I get the answer 8. That just means that 8 people took between 0 and 10 minutes. And I'll keep on going. Area B has got a width of 20, but a height of 1.6. Well, 2 times 1.6 is 3.2, times by 10, 32. So 32 people took between 10 and 30 minutes to revise for the test. Area C, width of 10, a height of 2.2. If I work that out, I get 22. Then last but not least, Area D, up to 45, it's got a width of 5, it's got a height of 2. And 5 times 2 equals 10. So my estimate for the number of people who revise for less than 45 minutes is just 8 people plus 32 plus 22 plus 10. 8 plus 32 is 40, 50, 60, 62. So I reckon there were around 72 students who revised for less than 45 minutes. And again, the key fact here is to find the frequency, we need to calculate the area.